What's up, Buck? I am Doug with d in the Garage. This is about the most forked spark plug I've ever seen in my life. Came out of a Subaru, and I'm a Jeep guy. If only I knew a Subaru guy. You guys remember Eric, the E in d in the Garage? Hi. <laughs> I found this fancy fornicator wandering around and said, hey, get over here. I got Subaru problems I need you to help me fix. So anyway, uh, this is the 2009 Subaru Outback. I was driving her the other day and she stopped dead. I mean, hard. Engine was seized up. I got out, she had Earl in her. Nothing was immediately apparent. So we came home, I pulled the plugs and this is what we found. Uh, here goes the uh, plugs out of one and three. You can see they're fine outside of the valve cover. Leaking, there's number four. That's number two, so. Uh, can't tell, did, did somebody fill that cylinder full of marbles? Did the timing chain let go? Did we drop a valve? What's going on here? We're gonna uh, kind of go through. Uh, best practices in the process, if you run into this in a Subaru, your motor seizes up, what, what should you start looking at? Step one, pull the plug, see what they have to tell you. Mine's telling me that cylinder two is a bit of a problem. Next step would be to look at your what? Timing chain, right? Timing belt. belt. A belt. That's had what, a, if chain, had a chain, we wouldn't, wouldn't be here. So here we go. This is your EJ motor. Uh, basically, that's the common standard EJ for Subaru anywhere prior to 2010-ish. And you guys usually have access cover, access cover on the timing belt to take one off. So that was our first thing to look at after he found the spark plug, was let's see what the timing belt's doing. Now, I do still see tension on it. I don't, we can't turn the motor. <laughs> That's why the crank pulley is already off. So, cause originally I was gonna try to crank it and see where the timing marks are. You can see here, here's actually one, that little white mark there. That is part of the timing mark. And if it lines up to where there's a mark on the, the timing belt, usually another little mark right coming up, it would be perfectly in time. But we can't tell. So we decided to start getting ready to take off the rest of the timing cover. Well, the timing belt cover. So we took the crank bolt off and luckily the motor was seized. So it just popped the crank bolt right out for us. And we gotta take this one less accessory pulley off and then we can get the rest of the tens off that were right here, here and here. Uh, and uh, there's more down there for the tens too. Um, and see what the rest of the timing belt looks like. There go your timing cover. Four billion 10 millimeter sockets hold that thing in. Let's see. I think I found your problem. What happened, bud? Oh, darn, look at that. Got a little play in that one pulley, which is not supposed to be that much play. That's where the one me is ate itself up. It does look beat up, kind of weird. So what do you think the scenario is there? I bet the bearings failed inside of it. And it just gave it enough slack that it ate a valve? I, I think it just jumped timing then. We probably have to pull the valve cover then, eh, bud? I would say so, bud. So there, you want to explain, if folks don't know, what goes on with an interference engine and why we're even looking at the timing belt right now. So when a timing belt or jumps a tooth or a couple teeth, there's a lot of different things. You have some clearance. Most super motors are interference. So interference means when this thing jumps timing, your valves and your pistons meet a party and they get really hammered and everyone comes out not happy. <laughs> Basically they crush themselves. Case in point. So what that, what interference engine means is the valves when they're open and the piston when it's up occupy the same space. Now, under normal uh, operation, your valves are open when your piston's down, your piston's up when your valves are closed, not a problem. You jump timing, that piston comes around, like Eric said, it's a party, everyone gets hammered, and then your Subaru, she no go no mo. You got anything over here, bud? Oh, this one seems fine too. More pulleys that are okay. Huh. <laughs> You have the one that didn't jump time? Oh, oh, that has... Is that a... No, that's, that's just an adjuster. Your, no, yeah. no, that's your tensioner. I've heard a tensioner's go and then it maybe it lost its tension because that one's fine. I mean, that is going to have play, actually. Yeah. Take that back. It's supposed it to take the tension yeah. off the belt. Exactly. But, but I, yeah, I've seen tensioner pulleys grenade. That one looks good, though, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh, something up, something up. <laughs> Something like go on this side. I shouldn't be able to spin that. <sighs> All right, hold this. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure I got everything off of here. We're gonna try to pry on this little vacuum nipple. There we go. Valve cover is off. Where's your cam snap? I'm really perplexed. Would you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby? <laughs> At this point, it doesn't really matter. Let it, whatever it wants to be broken, let it be broken. All right, valve cover. Well, the oil that's in there. The chunks? No chunks. Cool? There's a bunch of water and stuff in there. Uh-oh. 
That looks like... Uh-oh. That looks like coolant. Yeah. Did your head gasket let us go and you just hydro lock the thing. I wonder if that's exactly what it was and that's what broke it. I'm gonna put that crank bolt back in and uh, see if I can rotate the uh, crank now that it's not attached to the valves. Should be, should be able to. Well, this should, you should put it on here, you should be able to spin this guy. Yeah, same same thing, right? Yeah. What's that one look like, about a 19? Um, maybe a 17. See if the crank moves now. The crank does not move now. Oh goodness! Nope, this still very, very Okay, so I'm thinking we probably grenaded a piston or something. She's more locked up than a frat president spring break. <laughs> oh, Eric, the people have missed your your, uh, your isms. I, I warmed up that one on the way down the hill. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I, I, I was like, what's a good one? That one's. Well, now you're probably hitting the piston. Yeah. I can hear that tapping. Yeah, that's exactly what you're up against. That was weird. Yeah, it made a full rotation, I think. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm looking to that camera angle. I'm, I'm obviously at this again. Yeah, she rolled over. Uh oh. Well, that means there's. That means there's no piston in there, Eric. <laughs> or no, no, no this valves. is. A, yeah, I guess. Yeah, because that's the cam you're spinning. Alrighty, friends. Eric had an idea of one last test we can do to try to figure out quickly what might have been the issue. Eric, why are you holding the uh, tensioner for my timing belt system? So the way to test this is that you're going to squeeze this baby down. And if you guys can see, there's a hole here and there's a hole there. And typically, when you get a new tensioner, there's a pin through here. little piece of metal flies you, you pull it out when you are ready to release your timing belt, and then it's tensioned. So we're going to compress it down just in the vise, because you can't do it by hand. Trust me, I tried. And, uh... See if it actually retracts back out, meaning it still holds tension. So and if not, what? If not, your tensioner failed, and that's why uh, it jumped time. And that's why the time is the timing belt didn't have proper tension. Let's give her time. It's a it's a sealed hydraulic system, so go nice so and slow. So uh, waiting for fluid to rush past seals or something here? Yeah, pretty much. You're just it's chill. going now. It is going. And then we release it. I'm in that now. Alright, well, well, that should be good enough to see it comes back out. Popped right back out, like yeah. quick, as, yeah. soon as, it, uh, as soon as it could, so. I'd say that's not the problem either. <laughs> okay, we figured out 999 ways not to make a light bulb. What, what killed my Subaru? I don't know. I don't know. Me neither. Here's the long and the short of it though. We're gonna leave it because we've checked off all the easy stuff. We pulled the inspection covers and stuff and honestly it doesn't really make a difference if the spark plug's that bad. Um, there's probably internal damage so I'm gonna look for a donor. Maybe a turbo donor. You never know. Who knows right? Uh, but I know there's Subaru guys left right and center on the internet so if one of you has an idea what do you think? Eric thinks it's related to the timing belt. I just haven't had the smoking gun in my hand yet to say the timing belt jumped. I just and that's don't know. I just I the only reason I say that is how that freaking spark plug looked when you pull it out. It looks like, yeah, it looks like a bang, 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 right? No. Yeah. I don't know. It's a bummer. But uh, thanks for coming along. Super quick video. Just wanted to show you guys some carnage. Uh, if anybody else is experiencing the same thing, you can go through the steps we did. Pull the inspection cover, pull the spark plugs, maybe even pull your tensioner if you get that far. If you're trying to figure out what's wrong with your Subaru, I was hoping that it might be something silly and I could just fix it real quick and get it running again. But looks like... Engine's coming out. Yep. So if you'd like to see that video, leave me a comment down in the squawk box. Do you want to come with us on the journey? Either way, leave me a comment down in the squawk box. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Everybody, welcome Merrick back. You guys happy? I've been getting some real nasty comments the last year. <laughs> Eric was busy. He had other stuff to do. Yeah, I built a, bought a house and built a house and had another kid. So it's a little busy year. He was a little busy. <laughs> he didn't have time to make these videos. But anyway, he's back now. Uh, so leave Eric a comment too. Tell him what y'all been up to. Good deal. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.